Hi, this is Shadi and this is arguably one of the most requested video on this channel and that is to discuss the different styles of Judo uh, according to countries and what distinguishes each style whether it is Eastern like Russian, Mongolian, Japanese or Western like French, Brazilian, etc. Uh, I gathered some footage of one of the most popular countries competing on the IJF World Tour like Georgia, Korea, Japan, uh, Russia and we're gonna see what distinguishes each style and see truly the difference and maybe have a civil discussion in the comments down below. So let's begin. So the first style that we're going to be looking at is obviously Japan. Japan is where Judo was born and the quick thing that you can notice in all of the Japanese judokas, whatever the category male, female, lightweight, heavyweight, is that they're very quick, they're very swift and it comes from out of nowhere yet it is very simple but there's so much intricacies to whatever they are doing. For example, uh, their kumikata. Their kumikata is basically the sleeve and the lapel, but it can be very versatile. They can just let go. They can just, if they cannot get the lapel, they can do it double sleeve. They can just have one lapel and attack it. Uh, but it really depends on what's going on on the fight. But in short, it is sleeve and lapel. And once they get that grip, it is game over. They go down no strength all leverage all momentum and this is how they want it and they want it mind over muscle they want it uh, very quick fluid aesthetic and effortless throwing you can say uh, Uta Abe and Hifumi Abe are a bit of a how do you say uh, something not normal to the rule they are like an exception where they kind of force the ippon but everything from inoue in the minus 100 from mariyama in minus 66 even ono and hashimoto who are very strongly built look at this one they just effortlessly roll and get that so that's very koigoshi or uh, uchimata in the case of ono but other than that it is fluid it is uh, quick, swift, and no strength needed. The kumikata is uh, their way of just getting that connection. It's not something that they just use to really uh, push down their opponent, break their spirit, break their posture, kind of like the Russians or the French. It's just a grip that they just need in order to do kuzushi, tsukuri, and kake. Very basic yet very... Uh, magical in in the least so this is mainly japanese judo effortless i've talked about it in my judoka profile the kumikata uh everything from uchimatas when i'm analyzing maruyama or other japanese judokas even in a way in the minus 100 and the plus 100 his uchimata remained uh, very effortless and just using leverage and momentum i've discussed this many times so in short japanese judo is effortless not there's no use of strength at all and it's very technical using leverage and positioning rather than power or speed The second style that I want to discuss is the Korean Judo. Now, some people from from first observation, they might think that uh, Korean and Japanese, they might be a bit similar. However, from my uh, observations and personal experience sparring with Japanese at the Institute of Judo uh, in Paris, if you don't know what Institute of Judo is, it's like, a, like the biggest dojo in France and it basically hosts championships and also uh, after Paris Grand Slam 
all the competitors they go there they have like a small seminar between each other so it's a very big uh, deal to go and train there and from what I've learned and what I've seen in competition is that the Japanese are uh, they wait for timing and good positioning rather than speed so for example uh, Ono, Hashimoto, Maruyama they might seem a lot of a lot of the times like kind of passive almost but when they get that grip they want they have that opening they want that Ippon is almost inevitable uh, a bit different from Abe siblings as I mentioned but this is how most of them operate even the heavier ones like uh, Kokoro Kagera who beat Teddy Rine uh, but Korean Judo is all about that speed and lightness and just dropping and exploding into Seonage, reverse Seonage, which uh, dubbed Korean Seonage and also the drop Tayotoshi. So if I had to do like an analogy of the two styles, it's the Japanese Judo is the calm before the, before the storm and then the crushing wind that blows the ship into pieces. But Korean Judo is that thunder in the storm. Uh, Again, it's all about that quickness, lightness, uh, element of surprise. Uh, they go for quickness during randori. They're always moving constantly. The Japanese, they are a bit calm while they're gripping, etc. But when once they see that opening, bam, they attack. But the Koreans, they're just going at it quickly and with lightness, no force, no strength, uh, and they do have a distinct style of explosive techniques. The drop seonage. And the drop Tayotoshi and their and their Ashiwaza as well very similar to Japanese judo so in short they look for that quickness lightness while the Japanese tend to look more for that positioning and opening uh, before executing the throw and go for the Ippon The next style that I want to discuss is also an Eastern style and that is Mongolian Judo. If I had one word to say about Mongolian Judo, that is one word, unorthodox. Why? If you don't know a bit about Mongolia, Mongolia has uh, deep-rooted in its culture wrestling called Boch and it is a jacket form of wrestling. So. They do have some grips and they do tend to take them into judo. They're kind of like an armpit uh, shoulder grip, like an underhook overhook type of grip. And it can be applied to the judo gi very easily. And this is where uh, you see most of these attacks. Like for example here, this one, sometimes they tend to go for the belt. So the gripping, the kumikata or grip fighting is very unorthodox, very, uh, it can be a, very surprising to the opponent. This is what I can say. Uh, when it comes to executing a technique, uh, it is not incredibly elegant like the Japanese or the Korean. There is some form of strength. Uh, they use like a strong judo. Uh, one of the techniques that they do shine in is the Yagura Nage or now simply known as the front Uchimata. So it's kind of like you're hugging someone and you put the foot in front between the legs and lift up and go uh, lift for the epon here this is the yagura nage kind of like a front suplex but using your knee to reap the inner thigh this is why it's called front uchimata you're reaping the thigh but from the front you're not turning your back again uh, the distinction of the style is the gripping per in particular uh, they do tend to bring the boch style wrestling into judo like dash Deva, for example or ganbatar as well uh, they are also known for using strength they're not uh, very elegant like the japanese and the korean as i have mentioned and the next style is russian judo i realized that the further i go west the more strength is being used and it's far more reflecting the people they are strong like mountainous regions they tend to be just sheer brute strength and just tanks uh, going through the competition 
very strong with their grips, very strong with their particularly uranage and hip uh, throws. Even women, they use their small stature to load their opponent on their hips and just go in. Here you can see the less elegant judo in their gripping and also in their execution of the ippon. Um, Russian people are strong, they use strength when it comes to judo. Their gripping is also unorthodox. They get the ippon from almost any grip, uh, sleeve lapel, uh, double lapel, double sleeve, uh, but mainly if they get both hands, that ippon is inevitable. They will just tank through it and just drive like with an uranage. They're not afraid to use strength, they're not afraid to use leverage and it's also very reflective of the wrestling aspect of uh, the Russian people so uh, they're not afraid to wrestle they're not just in there calm and waiting for that opening for the upon or they're just using timing quickness and positioning in order to get the upon like the Koreans they're just out there crushing it Many examples like Mudranov, the Olympic champion, Mansur Izaev, also an Olympic champion, uh, Abdul Zalilov, they all use that explosive strength and like really tight gripping and execute whether it is Ashiwaza or Uranage, they sacrifice themselves in order to get it. For example, uh, an Ochiyari, they tend to fall with them, really hugging them and just going for that bear hug and going down taking their opponent with them like they have that i'm going down and i'm taking everything down with me and it really shows in the uranage and the uchimata they do for example uh, like i said mudranov and izaev are very good example of russian judo The next style that's gonna be discussed is Georgian Judo. I find it a bit similar to Russian, after all their neighbors, and also it reflects the type of people they are like strong and determined, and they grew up in this mountainous area and their region hasn't been very stable in the, for example, last century, and it shows in their Judo. Uh, very different from the minimalist, uh, calm, a Japanese way of thinking. Uh, I find uh, Georgian Judo less elegant than uh, say Russian Judo. Uh, this is not uh, like a bad thing. Uh, they just grind through that Ippon. One brilliant example is Gvinyashvili with his Kataguruma, uh, Uranage and Ogoshi. He does those very brilliantly and just piles drives his opponent down and just gets uh, the ippon someone if you see the build of Gvinyashvili he is uh, he is not particularly very tall I think he's like 5'11 or 180 centimeters look at this Uranage just monstrous uh, strength being used in order to get uh, the ippon Gvinyashvili very well built very muscular very strong and he's using that strength for his advantage in competition and it's working out very well. Uh, Georgian Judo, like I said, very similar to Russian Judo but they just hammer through the opponent. Uh, gripping gripping wise, it's sometimes when it comes to countering they just go for like a bear hug and they just execute uh, the Ippon or they just get like a high Russian arm grip and go again for the ippon if they are say dominating the match but if someone is like felt they are dominating and they have like a high grip and they go for an ippon the georgian counters with like a bear hug uh, georgians and the russians are very good with bear hugs mongolians as well from the grip of the boch wrestling uh, so like i said all this uh, area that's uh, close with russia mongolia Georgia and Russia itself they are very good with bear hugs and unorthodox grip fighting uh, different from the Koreans and the Japanese say so again Georgian judo and Russian judo very similar 
but uh, Georgian Judo tends to hammer through the technique far more bit strongly than the Russians, from my observations at least. And now let's go farther west and go to France. France is a leading country in Judo when it comes to Western uh, Europe. You can argue you have some in Germany, Sweden, etc. But France truly shines on the IJF uh, World Tour or the IJF stage. Um, multiple world champions, multiple Olympic champions. So it's only fair to discuss uh, their style of Judo. Now, I live in France, I practice Judo in France and I've been to seminars and open mats ran by a high level uh, judoka 6th, 7th dan uh, and the thing that I've noticed the most is uh, when it, even in the heavy categories Teddy Rene, Alex Edir, uh, Igor Legrand in 73 they all tend to have one thing in common and that is break down your enemy through grip fighting uh, once they lose their grip they lose their control of the fight they lose their posture they even lose their mentality that's when you strike and they strike very efficiently quickly very little strength used and that's how the French use their judo like even high Russian arm is very popular in France uh, even among the amateurs uh, Teddy Rene destroys his enemy's posture or opponent's posture and uh, like mentality with his high Russian arm and using his height to do that. Uh, but so when it comes to grip fighting, it is kind of classical but also very strong. But uh, throwing is very much uh, Korean style uh, throwing, very quick, very swift, and not much strength used, unlike. Uh, Russia, Georgia, and Mongolia. Um, for example, I'll give you an example of uh, how when you dominate the grip and you frustrate your opponent to the point where they just lose without even knowing. Uh, Daria Bilodid against Melanie Clément in Tbilisi uh, in the finals. Melanie Clément really knew how to just destroy uh, Daria's gripping abilities she just held on to that left sleeve of Daria knowing she is left-handed and she just couldn't do anything she was just standing there and with her hands in front of her and just not doing anything and then uh, Melanie Clement caught her with that Osoto Otoshi and uh, controlling the fight psychologically and technically and and when I say psychologically, I really mean it. We all saw how Daria cried on that podium and after the, the match. Uh, Teddy Rene, listen, look, dominating the grip, the Mongolian barely had, uh, the Korean, I'm sorry, barely had any like, control of the grip and just that Uchimata came in. Uh, again, they just bring down their opponent mentally and physically with that gripping, sheer gripping, uh, breaking posture it, it doesn't seem uh, very apparent but it's very much there not necessarily a very high Russian arm just uh, on the back of the neck and grabbing the sleeve con really controlling the sleeve and controlling the neck that would really assist in breaking your opponent's posture and heading for that uh, ipon. Uh, it's very subtle but it, it is there to the control of the uh, posture and grips really contributes to their uh, judo for example uh, in japan you might see you might think you are very dominant or you have a, like a dominant grip but then you they just get you down with that ippon uh, they might they very much surprise you kokoro kagera does it in the plus 100 all the time uh, they think they have this dominant grip but he just sweeps them or does whatever uh, similar with ono he was going for several techniques against Basile I'm sorry Basile was going through several techniques against Ono he had the grip he wanted and everything but Ono was just wouldn't move uh, he had the illusion that he's in control but he was just basically defenseless and Ono caught him in the right time with that Uchimata Geishi uh, 
the French, if they don't have the grip they wanted or they don't control the gripping, uh, the grip fighting, then they are truly losing. But the Japanese does, is not always the case or the Georgians or the Russians. And the final style that I want to discuss is the Brazilian style of judo and this is not based on my observation this is based on Neil Adams observation and the Brazilians have a truly magical uh, style of judo particularly when transitioning to Neiwaza he talked about Shibana uh, Silva they just one moment they're standing there they're grip fighting and the, with a blink of an eye, they're on the ground with a flying choke or a flying armbar. Flavio Canto is an excellent uh, example of this. He truly shined doing this. Shibana as well. Um, I believe uh, Silva tapped out Kaori Matsumoto uh, in this manner. Um, the Brazilian style is very swift, very magical, very beautiful and effortless. Um, that style is not only good in judo, but also if you take it to uh, BJJ competitions, that can work very uh, well. Uh, I really like this aspect in the Brazilians. I think uh, flying techniques should be practiced more. They're very magical. That's all I can say is it's very magical. Uh, so this is based on my observation and the general opinion of these styles, what, whether it is Eastern or Western. If you have anything else to add, anything else that I have missed, maybe uh, share it down below. I would love to. I would love if you contribute further to the uh, conversation. Uh, I had a pleasure doing this video because it has been requested for a long time. And uh, again, if you have anything else to add, the comment section is wide open. Like this video if you found it uh, informative. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.